Hey y'all, welcome back. So I did get a request um, for this look. Shout out to Sarah Gonzalez from UGK Raymondville and UGK in Harlingen. I think she works at both, not sure. Still giving a shout out to my girl. Um, if y'all want to see this look, roll into play. If you don't, stop watching now, but let's get to it. I have to push stop first, bitch. Okay, so I'm going to start um, by moisturizing my lips. Usually, I never do this like before I do my makeup, but because I am doing a video, I'm going to do it just for y'all, okay? So, I usually keep this in um, my purse because when I'm on the road, um, my lips get really dry and really chappy. So this is great for that. I think this is Katy Perry's from Remote London. Yeah, looks like this. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Um, yeah. So let me fix my mirror behind me real quick. Hold on. There we go. So, if I'm looking down here, it's because that's where my mirror is at. Okay? Okay. So, now that I have that done, um, let me just talk about something real quick. So, I know I did a review on the e.l.f. concealer and um, I absolutely hated it, but... It was because of the primer that I was using. Like, with this concealer, you have to use... Um, like a certain type of concealer and I mean primer and I recommend if you are thinking of purchasing the elf pri uh, concealer I recommend you get the elf uh, primer and this is what it is this well this is what it looks like um, so I was like pretty upset after um, the outcome you know, after using the concealer for the first time, but I didn't realize like, hello, Alyssa, like it could be, you know, because of um, the primer, you know, and I actually did purchase this when I purchased um, the concealer. So I was like, dummy, try using the e.l.f. primer and it worked. So, oh shit. I'm just gonna slap this bad boy on my face because I am going to be trying that concealer again. And then I give it three slaps because, you know, it's just good luck. Just kidding, but you never know. <laughs> okay, put this away. Next, I'm going to be using, um, I do my eyes first. I do my eyebrows and then um, I do my eyeshadow. The only reason why I didn't do my eyebrows on camera is because I do want to make a separate video for that. So I'm going to be using um, the Morphe Eyelid Primer. This came in the trio set. It came with um, the face primer, the eyelid primer, and the setting mist spray. Where's my mirror? So I'm just going to put this on my lid real quick.
Okay, now that's done. So I'm gonna be using um, this tart palette that I got in my boxy time this month, which be looking like this. Super cute. I really like this palette um, because it's really for a natural look. And that's what I am going to be doing today. Cleaning off my brush. So every time um, you use any type of primer for your lids, you do want to set it. And this primer is actually in translu translucent. It doesn't have a color tone to it or a color pigment to it um, because obviously when they have it in a trio set, um, they want it for all skin tones. So that's why obviously it's translucent. Um, usually I would go in with whatever concealer that I'm using that day to do my eyebrows with. I'll bring it down and I'll conceal my eyelids and then do the same process. Um, but I really do like this um, eyelid primer from Morphe, so um, this is the second time I'm using it, so I'm just going to try it again and see if I really do like it. Make sure there's no creasing. And then I'm going to take this color right here because it's the closest to my skin tone, and it's a matte. Okay, now that I pretty much set my eyes, we are pretty much to go. All right, we're pretty much ready to go. <laughs> the book. <laughs> Y'all, I be talking stupid sometimes. And I always keep this um, brush cleaner on handy every time that I'm doing my makeup. If I want to go ahead and switch um, the color that I'm using on my brush, like, I'm going to take this off right now. That way I can use it again. I actually got that brush cleaner from my school, so I don't know. I think I'm going to try and find it on Amazon. My old school. Why do I keep saying my school like I go there still? Weirdo. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the deepest shade first. And I'm just going to apply, oh shoot, I went into the wrong shade. And this brush is R39 from Morphe. And I just dab first, to be honest with you. And I like the way this brush is because if you can tell, like, it's kind of, like, flat but fluffy at the same time, if that makes sense. Hi, Hi baby. Huh? My makeup. makeup. Yeah, go watch the movie, please. Okay, bye.
Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, go watch the movie. Okay. Okay. So obviously this is in my crease area. I'm th you already asked me that. Go watch the movie or else I'm going to turn it off. I will turn it off though. Okay, so then go watch it. Like, If you don't want me to turn it off, then go watch it. Y'all, please, please do not mind her. She's a little crazy sometimes. Genevieve. Genevieve. Can you be quiet, please? And obviously she does not listen. If you're going to be in here, you need to be quiet. Or go get your tablet. Okay, never mind. She left. She's back. I'm gonna turn off the, the, the movie. Thank you. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so then go watch it. I don't watch it. You don't wanna watch it? I don't watch it. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it off, okay? Okay. Oh, really? She said okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, go get your tablet. So you can sit on the chair with mommy. Huh? Go get your tablet so you can sit down right here. Yeah, Go get your tablet. Huh? Go get your tablet. Your tablet's on the bed. Uh, um, I really like try and get them or the shadow is symmetrical. But like if not, it's cool because I mean you're gonna blend anyway, so it's all good. Okay. What brush am I gonna take? Um, I've been obsessing over Morphe brushes lately, so um, I think I'm pretty sure, actually, I'm gonna be using Morphe <laughs> throughout this whole video. Um, this one is M441. This is basically just, you know, a precise blending brush. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter brown. I used this one first and now I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to apply it like kind of directly on but not really like slightly above that brow. You found it? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Oh my god, I bet you're gonna ha hear that. Can I see it? Let me see your tablet. <laughs> I need to lower this. Let me see your tablet. Come in. There you go. Oh my gosh. And she has not napped, so I'm just like, like, why haven't you napped yet? Because I wanted to do this when she took a nap, but
Y'all, sometimes I be tired of blending, like. The other side, I don't know why, but for some reason, it, like, it's more complicated for me, and I have to, like, adjust the way I'm sitting and stuff. Okay, for some reason this side is like not like blending. Hold up, there we go. Okay, we're getting some wins.
<laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back with the same brush and just um, touch up that brown. Bring it up a little more, just patting. I'm just patting because it helps bring up that color without um, a harsh line. Okay. And this look is going to be super simple. Like, basically, that's it. Um, <laughs> I really liked this look the other day. And one of my girls was like, girl, you need to do a tutorial on that look. So here I am. And it's super easy. I'm not even going to do a cut crease or nothing. What the hell? I, oh, why did I put it back? Okay, so I'm going to take um, the dark brown. And I'm just going to push it more um, towards the middle of my eyelid. Okay, now for a shimmer, um, I think I'm going to actually take, because I mean, I like the shimmers that are in this palette, but it's not like enough for me, if that makes sense. I need another light over here. Sorry about that. Like, I have a light over here, but yeah. <laughs> I'm still learning you guys like don't judge me for real like I will get on like a roll soon to where like I have everything perfect <laughs> I promise so just bear with me and just you know join me and watch me uh, I'm not too sure what I want to put on my lid TBH um Cause oh no, that's a lipstick. Cause I have stuff that like I I have I have stuff that I haven't tried yet. So um yeah. Ooh, should I go in with a Stella Rose or nah? Will it match with this look? Oh my gosh, you are crusty, Stella. <laughs> I think I'm going to go in with the Stella Rose. This one is in Kitten. Meow. Um, and actually, this one is perfect for this kind of look because it's going to give it like that cut crease effect without doing the whole works for the cut crease. <laughs> I'm going to take, um, I guess just like a regular flat brush to blend this out a little bit. Oh wow, I like really have to push down into it for it to blend. But overall, I like it, okay. Ooh, yes, I like it, okay. You just have to like, push on it hard, kind of.
Okay, and that's that. I'm gonna just like be showing y'all this eye more or this side more because obviously, I don't know if it's just me, but like I need, I need some light over there. <laughs> Next time I'll be more prepared, I promise. But that's that and I actually have my lashes right now soaking um, that way I can clean them off um, that way they can be fresh I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use but one of them is going to be from PD loves makeup shout out to PD girl your stuff is amazing especially your lashes um, I'm not sure when I got all my lashes from her I think that it was it's been like over a month maybe two months actually and they're still a one i'm actually barely soaking them that way i can clean them off but yeah okay so i hope i'm honestly um really scared to try this concealer again but let's just um prime the face a little bit more because um it starts cracking right here on me the elf concealer or it started cracking on me in this area because I'm super dry right here and so is my mom so obviously it runs in the family so I'm just gonna put a little bit more that way <laughs> hopefully <laughs> all right where is it at I'm gonna go in with the medium peach wait is this medium peach medium peach and I'm going to conceal my eyes oh my god 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 I'm just gonna dry it's gonna dry I wasn't calling you. You can you can go back and watch the movie. You can go back to the room. Go back to the room, baby. <gasps> oh, what is happening right here? It's clashing with um, the Morphe primer. I don't know if y'all can tell, but let me focus. Right here, it's clashing. Here you go. Ooh. Nothing. Nothing, baby. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't, don't, don't. No, 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 no. No, baby, please. No. Baby, go over there, please. Go. Go. Thank you. Damn. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna avoid where I put my eye primer because like it it did clash. Hi. Hi. But um I don't see those cracks. So this primer actually yeah is making it different damn dude it clashed with my primer though that sucks that actually really look like it's it's clashed <sighs> that's annoying because I like this primer oh Oh no. Oh. Like something always happens with you, Elf Concealer. Something. What, the, what do I do? Like, I don't even know what to do right now. What is this?
Nope. Yep. It's ruined right here in this area. That sucks. Okay, yeah, no. It's it's still um, cracking, so um, I for sure will not use this um, concealer ever again. It's obviously not made for my face, so boo. And I'm not going to put it anywhere else because I'm going to get frustrated. And I'm going to get mad. And it's not going to ruin this video, okay? No, you're not going to do that to me. Like, don't disrespect me like that. I get really upset when makeup, like, tries me and tries to, like... Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be using Fenty today. At, let me tell y'all something. At first, like I really, really hated um, this concealer. Like I, I mean concealer, um, foundation. I really, really hated it. But now, like I really like it. Like I. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I don't know why I think it was because my skin was just so bad and I didn't like it the way it looks on my skin but I guess now that my skin you know has cleared up um I like it okay so like I was saying um I had to change my daughter's diaper or whatever <laughs> whatever I like this foundation now Jesus So I like to put it, I like to pump it on the back of my hand. Since it is um, water-based, you don't need a lot of it. Um, I'm using the foundation brush from La Hepa Cosmetics. Um, I like using a brush like this um, when you when going in with my foundation because it it really allows me to control like um, where I'm applying it. Um, like for example, like right here, you know, in between my nose, it's really hard to get it in there when using um, a beauty blender. Oh my god, I'm never using this concealer again. Look, you can see like crack.
okay, now that that is done, I always put, well, I always try and put my brushes, like, back into place. That way I don't have, like, a mess to clean up. But we all know that that is never going to be the deal when it comes to doing your makeup. It is what it is. It's going to be a mess. But I try. <laughs> And then um, I always take a beauty blend. Ugh. I always take a beauty blender after, just to really even everything out and push that in. Make sure there's no lines from the brush. I'm like really, really pissed off at this concealer, like for real. Anyways, I am going to try the, uh, what the fuck? Looks like the case of Genevieve Espinosa getting into her mother's makeup. But it's okay. Can you open it? Oh, it is new, so. Um. Since um, I don't really have any trouble areas, like, under my eyes, this coverage is okay. Am I going to use that concealer again? No, because, you know, it was... Really, the primer helped. Maybe I'll just use it for my eyebrows because the primer did help. Excuse me. But since it clashed with my eyelid primer that I really like, I guess when I use that eyelid primer from Morphe, I just won't use um, the e.l.f. concealer. Like, I don't know, but... Let's just stop talking about that. In... So I'm just going to highlight under my eyes with my Anastasia cream palette. And let's see how this goes because honestly, um, I haven't really used this TBH. Um, it feels not that creamy. As I would like it to be, I think. I don't know. I think it's okay. Like, I mean, I don't have no complaints.
Okay, maybe it was just the primer that um, clashes with anything. I mean, the, the eyelid primer. Because to be honest with you, I think putting this over the primer just made it worse. Ugh. But then again, that primer is new. So, I don't know. I'm going to um, go back to my Maybelline concealer and see if I have the same problem when using the Morphe Eyelid Primer. And if not, then I know what the issue is. Okay, now that I have my highlight going on, um, I don't want to cream contour, to be honest with you. I'm just going to set my whole face with my airspun because my airspun has never given up on me or has never given me any problems. I caught me the Kat Von D, didn't like it. Um, I tried... Girl didn't like it. Um, what else? The what are these? What are these? What are these? Oh. Let me just bring everything out so I can show you. Um, I have two shades in the airspun one for me, one for my clients. I have the cover girl, and then I have the Kat Von D, and then I have the Revolution Banana, and then I have Ghost. Didn't like both of these. Um, the formula is just not that great at all, to be honest with you. So, went back to my airspun. And yeah, I set my whole face with this, actually. So. I'm just going to make sure I don't have any creases. So... I'm going to get rid of any creasing before I apply my powder. I like to I like to take it right here that far up where my nose is at um to really snatch it. Not that I need it, but I just like that look. Especially in pictures. And to be honest, I take this off right away. And I'm going to use my La Hepa Cosmetics. Oh my gosh. I had to stop the video because um, I didn't have enough storage to keep going. So I just deleted a bunch of videos. But um, I usually don't bake under my eyes for too long because I notice that sometimes if I do, um it'll give me like flashback and obviously i don't like that so i'm just going to brush all over my face with the same powder oh my gosh and i do not like the highlighter either from 
the Anastasia cream palette. Wow. <gasps> Dude, like, look. Oh my gosh, look at that patching right there. Like, you can totally tell. Whatever. Now I'm going to contour. And I will be using my Cover FX palette that I got in my BoxyCharm one month. So whenever you're contouring, you're going to follow the tip of your ear to the uh, inside of your lips, I guess. And always blend up. And this brush is from Wet n Wild. I really like this brush because of the way it looks. Like it's super easy. All you have to do is like pat and like slightly um, slightly <laughs> blend, I guess. I don't know. Don't judge me. I'm going to do my forehead. Okay, now to contour my nose, I also used a brush from Wet n Wild. I think it's their um, blending brush. Is this one? If you want your nose to appear longer, you um, will skip this step that I'm doing right here. You would just do um, right here. But I don't like my nose to look, look like that in pictures, so I contour right there. So that is that, and now I'm going to um, still be using the same palette, the color FX, and I'm going to put some blush on my cheeks this gives you a lot of freaking product like you can just and you're good like I promise 
I've made the mistake of like going ch -ch -ch, and then and then and then I look like a clown like bozo a freaking clown so literally just and I still have to do this and then I'm good <laughs> better safe than sorry build it up Okay, now for my favorite part. I'm going to spray my face using um, my Morphe. My Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I used to use um, Mario Facial Spray um, to set my face until I started getting blotches um the consist this one is a mist so like it's totally different it doesn't leave me like any kind of splotching so oh my god i freaking love it <laughs> oh it just feels so good like i can feel my makeup just like Um, now for inner highlight. You know what? Let me do my highlight first and then I'll do my inner corner. I like to take um, Brett's highlighting palette. Super cute. <laughs> I freaking love this palette. Um, it came with, you know, a fan brush, but I do not like using fan brushes when I apply my highlight. So, yeah. I got this brush actually at, um, Acrylic Box here in Brownsville, Texas. It is in, um, UGK Barbershops Plaza. Well, it's not UGK Barbershops Plaza, but where UG Barber UGK Barbershop is. Um, acrylic boxes in the same location and in, in the same plaza. So I got this brush from there and it's B Bella. Does it have a number? It does. NG321. So I'm going to go in with this one right here because this is really like a bronzy look. So Now I'm going to set my face again because I just feel like it. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> Small blending brush, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna take the lightest, same palette that I used earlier. Lightest brown first.
And then I'm going in with the darker one. Okay. Now for inner highlight for the inner corner of my eye, I got this from from Ulta. I think the brand is called Essentials. Does it say on here? Because I lost the top to it. No, it doesn't say. But I think it's Essentials at Ulta. It's um, in the shade Cotton Candy, and this is what it looks like. My favorite. You guys, it's freaking blinding. I'm going to take a similar brush to um, the one I just used from Morphe. It's just... Um, smaller essence okay because this is the same brand essence Ooh. that's where I got that um, shimmer from or well, that's the brand I got it from Ulta Um, I don't hardly ever for the past year, um, highlight under my brows because I feel like it's just too much and sometimes it's just not needed. Um, sometimes it can really take away from your eye look and since this one's like super soft, I really would never put, um, shimmer under it now. It's just a tip that I learned from Jenny69, and since it's Jenny69, I'm going to take her advice, right? And I did, and I've been loving the way my shadow looks come out ever since. Um, I think, actually, that's it. So, I'm just going to clean off my lashes. Um, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to pause this video, clean my lashes, and then I'll be right back. Pause. Okay, so my lashes are prepping right now, or I mean they're prepped right now. They are getting tacky as we speak. And this is why I apply mascara first, that way it allows them some time to get tacky. And I don't have to be sitting around waiting. Because by the time I'm done, with my mascara, um, my lashes will be ready to put on. And then I kind of just do this with my tweezers, that way I can combine my lashes. Because the mascara helps um, stick your natural lashes 
to your falsies. And then I also pinch them together just to make sure. like that y'all isn't it crazy how like when you put your freaking lashes on it just changes everything all right and then obviously yes i do put mascara on my bottom lashes Not much but I put some now for lips um, I'm not gonna be too dark I'm not gonna do anything bold I'm gonna go in with um, love bite from Morphe I'm just gonna sharpen her up real quick So this is love by oh okay oh, I love the formula I just freaking love it
And then I'm going to take, which one is this? Not that one. I'm gonna take Flirt from Morphe and just put it on the center. And then I kind of sort of just like take, um, where is it? Where are you, flat bread? Oh, there you are. I kind of just like take like a, I don't know, like a flat-ish fluffy brush, I guess. I guess you can use like any type of brush for this, like to blend in, you know? Okay. Oh my God, I think that's it. No, you know what? I'm forgetting the most important thing. So at the end of every single look, unfortunately, I have to take off the foundation, the highlight, whatever products got onto this freaking dermal of mine, whatever. So yeah, this is uh, the finished look. I hope you guys liked this look. I hope you like it. I hope you love it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you want me to go more in depth in what I am doing as far as like my um, contour application, as far as my highlight application, like really just to sh to tell y'all how i'm doing it instead of um showing you how i'm doing it let me know if that would be like more helpful um like i said y'all know i'm new to this um i've never really done this before but yeah so if y'all would like you know i'm more in depth and me talking more about everything that i am doing um let me know and I'll try it out in um, the next video. But if y'all think this was fine, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook, Alyssa Lopez. Follow me on Instagram, Alyssa.Beautified. And like and subscribe, obviously. It, only if you liked it, okay? Only if you liked it, please give me a like. If you didn't, no hard feelings. But yeah, so stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to edit this the best that I can. <laughs> um, so bye, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video like I had just said like two seconds ago. <laughs>